The Techa is no ordinary river. It has a dark history. The Techa's waters also contain radiation levels up to 80 times higher than normal. That's thanks to the Mayak nuclear plant, 1,700 kilometers east of Moscow, originally producing plutonium for the Soviet Union's nuclear weapons program. They produced uh, many types of nuclear waste, and they dumped this nuclear waste, high-level nuclear waste, uh, inside the river which is situated there. It's the Techa River. Nadezhda Kutebova's father was a worker at Mayak. He and her grandmother died of cancer. She campaigned for compensation for victims, but fled two years ago, accused in the media of being a traitor. She spoke to Al Jazeera in Paris. Finally, they understood that it's very dangerous because population began to be died, began to have leukemia, and began to um, give a birth children with the defects. Communities were moved, new villages were built, but even 60 years later, the residents of New Mislumova don't feel safe. Irina Ramazanova used to swim in the toxic Techa River as a child. I think it was the wrong decision. We're only three kilometers away. What is it, a clean zone here? Not everyone was relocated. Gilani Dambayev still lives in what remains of old Muslimova on the banks of the Techa. These days he's careful to use only bottled water. It wasn't always the case. No one ever told us anything. Then, in 1993, a drunken Yeltsin came here. He climbed up on a table in the street and told us, I'm going to move you. It's a contaminated area. Cancer became rife in communities that didn't even know why they were getting sick. Many died unnaturally young. And that would be extraordinary enough as a story from a long time ago. Except that the Mayak plant is still functioning, still potentially leaking hazardous waste. Its operations still going on under a shroud of secrecy. Last October, a cloud of mostly harmless ruthenium-106 was detected in the air over Western Europe. Scientists believe it may have been released at Mayak during the refining of spent nuclear fuel, but Russia denies any leak occurred. Activists believe Mayak may still be dumping waste into the region's water system. Russia's nuclear authority, Ross Atom, says it complies with all relevant safety guidance. Little has been done to compensate victims of contamination. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, in the Chelyabinsk region of Russia.